Hi, today we're going to be playing Dream Quest. Dream Quest is a new game for the iPhone and iPad. And it's kind of a mix between a roguelike game and uh, it has card based combat. So, first you pick a class, and there's four base classes and nine unlockable ones. And I like Thief the best. Thief has kind of a combo play style where you play a bunch of cards that cycle and then you go off with one big combo. It's a bunch of text, I don't really care. Um, so first I gotta choose a talent. Most of them are pretty weak. Health is pretty safe, so I'll go with health. So I'm exploring the map, hmm, but before I fight anybody, I have a combat ability, or a dungeon ability. Find treasure, or get to find treasure chest. Mm, nothing really good in here. Execute's an okay card. Um, it's pretty good if your deck just kind of dirtles around in the early game, needs a way to win. But I don't really know if I want it right now, so I was just going to come back later. Maybe I'll pick it up, maybe I won't. So in the beginning, um, the combat's pretty straightforward. There's not much uh, strategy to it. But in the beginning is where you're forming your deck. And that's where the interesting decisions are, are made. Is do I pick up that corrosive slash or not? I don't know. Here's mm, a shop. What's inside here? You might notice uh, if you've played this game that I'm starting with more gold than you. That's because um, when you play enough, you get certain unlocked achievements. And they give you small bonuses, like 5 extra gold to start with. Mm, I don't think there's anything interesting there. The Goblin Hoarder, he gives a lot of gold, but he runs away. I want to make sure I kill him. It would be a lot safer if I picked up that Corrosive Slash. I could probably definitely kill him. But I think I should be able to get him. Yep. 6 gold is pretty good for level 1. Okay, sweet, so I leveled up. Hmm, I don't know what I want. Backstab or swiftness? I want swiftness. Yeah. It cycles, it draws me a card, gains me some actions. There's no real harm in putting in my deck, and there's other things that combo off of how many actions I have in place, so... It's pretty good to have. That's pretty sad. So, the action cards are the green cards, and they cost an action to play. This is my number of actions. It regenerates each turn. So right now I only have one, so I can only play one action card turn. Which is kind of sad, I'd like some more. Ooh, a treasure chest. Anything good? Flame Slash too. Hmm. So this does four damage, which is kind of a lot right now. Um, but I really want action cards. That's kind of the deck I'm going towards. And um, as this level kind of pans out, I might give up on that plan and just pick up the Flame Slash and the Crystal Slash, but right now I'm holding out to see if I can get the deck I want. Uh, so right now he's invulnerable, so I'm going to run one of these slices into the invulnerability and then pass. I want to keep the other one around because Slice is doing a lot of damage. It does one and then it gets me another card, so... Effectively, it did three that turn. So backstab is kind of a key component to the thief combo. Um, kind of a weaker component, an early game component. It deals one plus one per action cards. So I kind of want to get a lot of action cards in play and then want to play backstab. But, you know, right now, I'm only drawing two cards a turn, so it's kind of hard to get that going on. Hmm. So level 3, I get a new combat ability. That's pretty good. And now I have to make a choice. Circle's a really good card. I love Circle. Um, I almost always pick up a Circle if I can. So it's pretty exciting to see it, but I really need a second action. I mean, that was just so sad when I had a second slice that I couldn't even play. Also, find treasures ready again. Anything good? Ooh, another slice. Huh. Mm, I don't know if I want it. Coming back later, there's not much downside. And I'm kind of bad at making decisions, so I like to just put things off till later. I'm good at procrastinating in this game. And real life. Huh. So here's a mana card. Uh, mana doesn't really interact with the thief. Actions are my resource, so I have no interest in that. 
Okay, so he's level 3. I think all these guys are level 3. Um, he should be the easiest to beat. I want to be as strong as possible when I fight the Goblin Hoarder because he's going to run away. He's hoarding his gold. I want to make sure I get it before he runs. So he's invulnerable right now, but attack 1s are my weakest cards, so I'm going to run them into the invulnerability. Hopefully I draw something better. And I did. Okay, that's okay. And that should do it. Again, early on, um, the combat system, uh, there's not a whole lot of decisions to make in the combat. The decisions, this is where you're forming your deck. So, that's where you need to be careful. Hmm. Now, he's kind of hard. He might hit me for a lot, but here I have a healing pool, so even if I take a lot of damage, I can heal back up. I think I can beat him regardless. So every turn, he prevents the first card that I play, so I'm just going to run my attack 1s into that shield, and then hopefully hit him with an attack 2 or a slice. Oh, so this is going pretty badly. Okay, so I have this uh, combat ability. Um, I'll probably use it. I don't want to take too much damage. I might whiff the next few turns. Mm. And there we go. So I barely got past him. Down to 6 health, that's pretty low. But again, I had the healing pool, so I knew I was going to be okay. Hmm. 12 gold or delete a card. So deleting a card is really good because the only way to delete cards from your deck are from level ups or there's a place where you can buy it, but it's really expensive. And these attack ones, they're really terrible. I don't want them in my deck at all. I mean, they pretty much do nothing, so deleting them is pretty good. Jeez, another flame slash. They're really trying to sell me on that flame slash plan. This card's really good. So this is an equipment card. Once I put it into play, it stays in play, and it does that effect constantly. You can also get equipment starts where they start, so the equipment starts into play at the beginning of your turn, and then you're really in business. So let's see, I have him, him, and this little cat, this cheetah. I guess she's a cheetah. She is the boss. She is a boss, and she is the boss. I need to be as strong as possible before I fight her. So I'm thinking I will maybe kill this guy, take some damage, get the hoarder's gold, and then uh, run through all the shops, get as much as I can, and then I'll fight the cat. Ouch. So he, he countered that. But I'm still going to get in some good damage. I got a pretty good draw first turn. Ouch. So notice that I played my attack one first. That was obviously intentional. All going to plan. Get my attack one counter, not my good stuff. Like I want to make sure my backstab goes through, so I play the attack one to make sure the coast is clear. And then I backstab. Mm -hmm. I already knew that was there. I don't know why I went there. Um, yeah, hoarder time. Give me your gold. So hopefully I can get through him. He has a reaction that prevents damage, and so it can be kind of hard to kill him because he's preventing damage and then he starts running away. You don't have very much time to kill him. So he's running much faster. So I probably need to do 6 damage this turn. Probably not going to happen. It will be a small miracle. Oh, and I did it! Wow, that was lucky. Awesome. 20 gold just for him. That's a lot. Early on, 20 gold is just a ton. And find treasure is ready. I feel like I'm polluting the map with these treasure chests. Are you kidding me? A frost slash? So, all these cards are pretty much the same. They all do 2, 4 damage. Some elemental damage. Huh. It's in these shops. Swiftness is okay. I can pick that up. Another backstab might be fine. Um, ooh, a great bow and a protean in a circle. Alright, this is the shop that I'm talking about. This is going to put me in business. Okay. 
probably want to pick up some of those. Isn't there a skin tar on one of these treasure chests? I didn't pick that up, did I? Let's take a look through my deck. Right now it's pretty basic. All I've added is swiftness. And I deleted an attack one. I got these attack twos, they're achievements. Like, if you kill five goblins or something, you get some attack twos. Boy, this is not not looking good for me. These treasure chests all suck. Yeah, where was that where was that equipment card? There it was. 25 gold, that's kind of a bargain. Let's go ahead and do that. That'll be a consistent source of damage. Hmm. Now what do I want? Do I want another equipment? Great bow is pretty good. I mean, it's probably going to be really good for this deck. So I kind of need to pick it up. I'll show you what it does in a second. Protean's also a really good card. So this might not go off all the time because I have a bunch of attack ones, but when it does, it's going to be really, really sweet, especially against the cat. So let's go use the healing pool. So the first time you heal is free, after that it's one gold per health. And uh, oh, I have this blacksmith, I haven't used this at all. So the blacksmith upgrades your cards. First time you get to do it for free. So let's upgrade this. The attack ones become attack twos, the attack twos become attack threes. See, now he's going to start charging me. It's going to ramp up after that. First it's 5, and then it's 10. It's kind of a racket. Sweet, so the protein went off, so I drew a bunch. She's going to prevent the first card, so I'm going to attack one into that. And I get both my equipment on the first turn. So, what Great Bow does, it uh, hits her for one each time I play an action card. And my goal is to play as many actions as possible, so that's pretty good. Dancing Simtar, we already know, it's hitting her for 3 at the beginning of my turn. So let's go ahead and do this. Not a bad first turn. Not a bad first turn for her either. Um, but right now my deck is pretty good with all those equipments in play. So this should be pretty straightforward. It's actually perfect, I'm getting 1 attack 1 each turn to run into the thing, and then I'm getting some decent cards after that. Oh, my protein goes off again. Alright, and that should do it. She's going to give me a ton of gold. 30 and 16 experience. So she always levels you up from 4 to 5. She usually gives you enough experience to get that. Hmm. Alacrity or rich? So... I know this card is worth more than 15 gold, so I'm going to pick up the card. Also, it goes along great with my Great Bow. So, let's take a look at my deck really quick. It's a lot better than it was a few minutes ago. This Protean and these two equipments are really upping my power. Um, I think I might even want to... So. When I go down the stairs, I can't go back up, so I need to pick up anything I want from this level right now. So I'm trying to remember if there's anything good. Oh yeah, Circle, I forgot about this. Circle's really great. I mean, um, it doesn't cost you, well it costs you an action, but it gets you that action immediately back, and it gets you the card back. But next turn, it gets you a card, an extra card, um, and an action then too. So it's really great because it puts another action in play, and then next turn you get an additional card, so... That goes pretty well with the combo of trying to draw as many cards as possible. And I think we're going to pick up the Slice. Even though I only have two actions, it should be fine. I forget, was there anything good here? I don't have gold to buy it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go down. 